What do you think of that, Donnie? Yeah, they're hauling today. I'm surprised. This is Friday. Usually, usually they fuck off. What was it? I didn't even oh, see it. Stuff. Oh, was it? Yeah. Huh. I wonder where that's going. The short mill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's going down to Sappy. Huh. I couldn't tell if it was softwood or hardwood. It looked like it might have been softwood, but mm -hmm. couldn't tell. Did you tell the viewers at home you went to the mill the other day? Oh, yeah. I, I, I went to the Irvin Mill in Dixfield with uh, my uh, wood chopper yeah. and uh, Jamie and he's got a pulp truck with a loader on it and uh, it's an older diesel which he fixed up beautifully it's really nice it was his father's and uh, his father took great pride in having it nice and had a lot of you know, wood, the wood on the dash and all kinds of buttons and levers to do this and that on the dash. Looked like a airplane dashboard. <laughs> but anyway, I, I rode up to the mill with him, which was a good experience. And uh, uh, But I found that it was pretty quiet, uh, pretty congested where you put your feet. You had, had to keep your feet bent to fit in the compartment where I was sitting. So I suggested to him that he have his brother cut out a piece of the firewall so I could stick my feet out and stretch once in a while. He got a big kick out of that. He says, I'm going to tell my brother to, to do that. So, And you keep your feet warm, right? And I keep my feet warm. But it's pretty noisy in the, in the cab of a diesel truck. And uh, so we had to kind of shout to one another to talk. But... That was a good experience, and Irvin's operation in Dixfield is enormous. They had a huge, huge crane running on tracks. Probably the tracks were like 30, 30 feet between them, and uh, this would go back and forth on, a, on these tracks, and they would have a big grapple come down and scoop up logs and pile them up in between the two tracks. I mean, the, the pile of logs that they were piling up were probably 30 feet high. Wow. It was just amazing how much lumber there was there. That must have been cool, though, to see your logs get trucked to a mill like that. Yeah, yeah it was kind of, it was an interesting ride. You didn't it, do it twice. I, no, I probably <laughs> wouldn't do it again, but I'm glad I did it, you know. With a heavy load on, and it, you know, we're loaded up pretty high, and he's got like, he said like airbags or something. He's pissed, and uh, he was swaying a little bit on the road. Let's see if they need any help. No, I guess they don't. Getting some beer. Need any help? Oh, we're okay. Just getting some beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here the log. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Of, of wood I can't, so we got to take what we got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, there was a bunch of it back yeah, there. Yeah. Like, ah, we should have stopped. <laughs> oh, there'll be more ahead of you. <laughs> We're just kidding about the beer. I don't drink, and Donnie doesn't oh. really drink either. So. But anyway, it was a good experience, and I, I had a fun day with Jamie, and he's a wicked nice guy, and. He cuts my lot for me, and he does an excellent job, you know, selective cutting. Does a real good job. Well, he tremendous. cuts his brush down, and it, it looks great when it gets done. How many years has he been, like, managing your wood lot, I guess you'd call it, right? He's, his father did it before him, but Jamie was one of his, you know, worked with his father on cutting. Yeah. But, oh, boy, it's been, I don't know. I'm going to say 20 years. Yeah. It's been quite a while. 
He's got a lot of pride in his work. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And he's conscientious and does, you know, I, I leave it up to him to do the selective cutting and, and uh, I'm pleased with what he does. So it was, as I say, it was a fun day to ride in with him and, and see the operation. I mean, there were trucks, trailer trucks loaded with logs when we got to the mill, just waiting to be unloaded. It was oh yeah, what'd you say, an hour and a half worth of trucks in front of you? We waited, yeah, we waited an hour and a half before we finally got, you know, unloaded. And um, did he unload himself or did yeah, he? Yeah, he unloaded wow. himself. Well, the trailer trucks usually have to be unloaded by, you know, a, a, a pulp loader yeah. when they get to the mill. The mill does that, but where we could unload ourselves, you know, that, that you know, it saved a little time. Wicked. Whoa! A few frost heaves in this road. Yeah, it sure is. Well, the snow situation's kind of, it's been up and down. Like we, 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 yeah, we went through a mile where there was two foot of snow in the woods and now we're back to patchy snow in the woods, if that. Isn't that strange? Yeah. The thing is still standing. Can you believe it? No, we lucked out so far. You believe she's still standing, Naughty? Can't believe it. I'm not sure it'd be collapsed. Who built this place? I don't know. Still looks pretty decent. Yeah, windows are all still in. Yeah. Looks kind of like how we left it. Yeah. Looks like I a like snowmobile. Looks like a snowmobile drove in here, or two snowmobiles. I don't know. I don't know why somebody'd do that, but what the heck? What the heck? Oh, this is great. How was your ride? Yeah. You know, you're every, <laughs> every which way because it's so rough. I know, you almost just got to let go of the wheel. Yeesh. Yeah. I, uh, it thrashes you around a little bit. This thing's well over a thousand pounds of gear back behind me. <laughs> no kidding. I felt it a few times, but not much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but no, we're looking good. I was curious what the snow would look like. It looks like we're dammed up a little bit on this side underneath. Well, probably from the, where it's fallen off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, they must have got rain because this is like hard. Hard, back. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I did it. Look at these freaking mice, Donnie. Right through the, they chew right they, through my soffit vents. Isn't that something? Look at all of them. Yeah, there's another one. Friggin' things. I wonder how many. Oh boy, I hope this works. This, this grade is the greatest thing. Right? It's great! Oh, I guess we left the thing of butter out. Did they eat any? <laughs> <laughs> Those sons of guns, huh? They didn't poop on it, but look. Look, they ate, yeah. Did I see a trap? Oh, there's a sprung one, there's a dead one right there. Over wow. by the couch. Oh, poor thing. Uh, isn't that something, how they get in here? Yeah. Well, I ought to get that fire going, huh? Yeah. Wow, it looks awesome in here. I don't even remember leaving it this nice, so I wonder if somebody else came. Yeah. We left it pretty clean. Yeah. Well, it's a good boy. Uh, oh, my God. What's it look like? It is. What 
I like my lighter. I like that lighter. <laughs> Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Don't mess around. No paper. No. You can use paper. Oh no, don't burn that big one. I know, you might use you it. You might use that in the outhouse. Oh, oh. oh, still might use it. All right. You ain't gonna use the cedar ones. No. What did you see? It, it looked like a sled tried oh, to Oh yeah, a snowmobile tried get up it. over this hump. Yeah. They must have come around and looks like they got stuck. Did they? Well, down in there looks like they had yeah. to work to get themselves out. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would you no Why would you drive into somebody's camp anyway? And then to do oh, that. I can see maybe driving down in here and just circling around, looking at it. Yeah. You know, it's a new, new place on the block. Yeah, they're curious. Did I leave a sweep broom before we pack all this snow? Yeah, we got one here somewhere. I think I, I don't, I don't know if I left. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. I got it. Yeah, you, yeah, I'll sweep. No, you take this, I'll sweep. Easy enough. I forgot I left that sled up here for firewood. Ah. My old, my sled must be over to your house. It is, yeah. yeah. I used it last week. Yeah. It worked pretty good. Yeah, home sweet home. This is awesome, huh? Yeah. The whole ride in, I was wicked happy. Like, never thought I'd say I'm snowmobiling in the my camp you you could actually drive in if you just had a single vehicle you could i mean it would be treacherous tricky. yeah It'd be treacherous be, yeah on them hills with just the ice right yeah but yeah i was thinking that too i'm like well you ain't gonna get stuck yeah i mean you you definitely couldn't drive in with a trailer but no but if you went slow i think you could make it yeah, you'd have, it, I mean, studded tires would help. Yeah. I don't know what those hills would do to you. Right. Yeah. Well, she's starting to warm up yeah. a little bit. Warm enough to take my coat off, I guess. Yes, sir. Well, uh, where the heck is that coat rack? Oh, my God, our welder. Where is it? It's supposed to be right there. I'll have to hang oh. it on this light. Oh, my God, then we can't use the light. I know. Man, if we only had a welder. Yeah, and, and a, you know, a nice rack right there. Yeah, and a wood bin. Yeah. And a grate for the top grate. of the... Oh, yeah, grate. Jeez. Forget about the grate. Oh, my gosh. We're, uh, we're taking applications for welders out there that want to join the crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ken, we love you, buddy, but yeah, we you got to get moving. We got we to gotta tease you once. I can't time. have Donnie slurring you the whole time. You got to get your act together. Oh, yeah, those will burn for a while. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. Nice flame. Yeah. Could fit a couple more in there, but that's all right for now, right? Yeah. All right. How's the camp look, Donnie? Everything look good? Looks wonderful. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of V-match up there, too. We do? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I wonder how the outhouse stood it. Oh, geez, we haven't looked yet, have we? Oh, we haven't. Hopefully well, we still this, standing up. We got to check the mouse traps upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give that a quick peek. Yeah, they right up the head. I think... Oh, geez. I think he put... He just set them up there. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one trap and it looks cleaned off, but not sprung. Ah! Yeah, we do have a lot of V-match up here. Holy cow. Yeah. So we might as well use it in the uh, outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a freaking ladder. Will give you enough room? Yeah, get out. Frozen? Frozen? What's frozen? There it is. Yeah, it is frozen. I forgot you put the door on it. Boy, they must have got some, some rain. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Remember there was an inch of ice in there last time? Yeah. Was... Hey, look how nice this is. Yeah. I don't know if I got enough. Hey, look. <laughs> look, I should have had you got the two. Yeah, it, it, it ain't no 16 <laughs> off center. Uh, oh, that's all right. It doesn't matter, it doesn't does it? Matter. No, we'll cut it in. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough anyway. Uh, and I don't know if I have enough V-match. Yeah. The ceiling's 16, isn't it? Yeah, seal is 16. Yep. Yeah. So I'd like to get that back wall. And we'll have to put the stuff on the outside too. Because to, that hasn't been put on. The type uh, type R or yeah. roof wrap? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice in here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like the short walk. Yeah. I like this walkway. Yeah. Oh, I think Stevie's gonna. He hasn't seen this either, have he? I don't believe he has. I don't believe he's seen that or the V match. So he's in for quite a shock tomorrow morning. Uh, Stevie's gonna be up tomorrow morning. I'm gonna run out and pick him up sometime in the morning, fairly early.
Oh, jeez. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, that's bad.
got it. figured you'd show up by, Dinner. you know, sun, sunset, which is about 5.30. What time is it now? Well, 6.10. I got unstuck around 5.30. Really? Yeah, and then I hammered on it to get back. So that way you wouldn't worry so too much. how far away from camp were you, do you think? Oh, probably 15 miles. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. Maybe 12. Yeah. Pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. But... That's how it happens, you know, you just go out for like a, a little jaunt. 
Oh yeah. And I wasn't fully prepared. I left my come along right here. Stuff like that happened. Just being dumb. Just but being stupid. The guy I I'd heard about a guy who once went on like a three hour boat ride and he I think he got stranded on an island for years. Really? Yeah, a guy named Gilligan. Oh yeah. I, I, I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was with Mary Ellen. Yeah. Couple. Oh, well, that, that's a good the, what, person. Ain't the worst person to get. <laughs> ain't the worst person. <laughs> couple. I, Mary I, Ellen, and what was the other one? Oh, jeez, uh, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. But, yeah, you know, being stranded with Mary Ellen wouldn't be too No, jeez. So, but that poor fellow, you know, he just went out for a three hour tour and <laughs> he didn't make it back for years. Oh. But. There was a scientist, I think, and a skipper, and yeah, Mary, right. yeah. Samantha, was it Mary Ellen and some, two women. was it Samantha? Jeez, no, that doesn't sound like right. Oh, that was Bewitched. Uh, yeah, that was Bewitched. We'll think of it. What the heck was the other one? What you working on for dinner? We're going to have sweet and sour chicken with rice, sweet and sour sauce. I think it's a big hit. I don't like rice. <laughs> well, it's a big hit. It's too damn bad. <laughs> it's a big hit. It's a big hit. Yeah. We, I think this was one of the first meals you made when we was in the wall tent, too. Yeah. You seemed to like it then. Oh, it was I don't know if you'll good. like it this time, but... Man. That's a heck of a meal. Quite, quite a bunch of goulash, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we we kind of figured the names on Gilligan Island was Mary Ann and Jennifer. We think. Yeah. That's what we're going. That's what we're going I with. Can't think of a. There was the skipper. There was Gilligan. Yeah. The scientist. I don't know what his name was. Doctor or something. And then there was the rich couple. Am I forgetting anybody else? Well, that was it, I think. But I don't remember the rich couple. Their names either. It's been a long time since that show had been on. But it was a pretty good show. Yeah. Pretty healthy, home, you know, family-friendly show, I think, for the most part. Yeah, very family-friendly. Yep. You're going to sit over here? Yeah, sure. Well, Donnie's got it heated up here. Within a couple hours, we're looking at 63 degrees way over here. And it's 11 degrees out. So this will be our first real test on the wood stove. We're, we're pretty happy with it. We'll uh, see how it does tonight. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't get us any YouTubes to drink. They, they wouldn't, didn't have any at the stores. Hard to get Yoo-Hoo anymore. Yoo-Hoo, yeah. The Hannaford brothers, they've let me down too many times. All right. Dig into this. Wow, Donnie, that looks good. Who else are we expecting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen you eat. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. You haven't seen me eat today, though, have you? No, I haven't. No. You know, we didn't have any lunch. Nope. All we Couple had was cookies. a slice of pizza. Oh, that's right. We did have a slice of pizza. Yeah. That's all for you. The funniest thing is we still, Donnie and I still laugh about it, Elliot too, is when we had Pat at the Lobster Lakes. Yeah. And he was <laughs> complaining and crying for food. And Donnie brought out a pot of chop suey twice the size. <laughs> Dump it right on there. And I was dishing out the food and I dished out... Did I do Pat first or you Elliot did, first? Yeah, you Pat did, first. Yeah. And I dished out about a half a spoonful. And then he thought I was going to go back in and shovel another one. And I skipped right over him to Elliot. And I think he had a heart murmur. <laughs> like it stopped for a minute. And he didn't... <laughs> Like that, he had nothing to say. Remember that? I couldn't say anything. No. And oh, then, that was so funny. It, and then we just all died laughing. It was the funniest thing. So now it's one of my favorite tricks that uh, you just can't get enough mileage out of it. You know, we Pat takes the brunt of our entertainment. Sometimes. Yeah, he sure does. And he doesn't deserve any of it. 
I, he deserves every bit he gets. <laughs> <laughs> he well, deserves everything. They're he still gets. mad. At, they're still mad at me online for when I hid that snow dog on them. Oh my was stolen. Word. Yep. Oh, the salt works good. Does it? I thought yeah. that that would be all cold. I did right too. It'd be all hardened up, but no. Well, I like pepper. I do too. Yeah, I picked this up for Donnie. I was walking down the Hannaford Isle, and I knew he loves black pepper, and I do too. So I picked that up, so we'll have it up to camp. Yeah. Hopefully we leave about half the stuff we brought up oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, we're thinking about making a root cellar next summer, yeah. maybe, or next fall, to keep the canned goods. Yeah. You know. If you guys have ever built a root cellar, let us know. We're thinking about maybe scratching off a piece of land building it kind of on top of it and then really covering it with a couple feet of dirt and building nice walls yeah. and it doesn't have to be uh watertight right i mean it's gonna be earth over it right you and hope I've seen it made with small logs like this oh yeah close to, you know you put down a bottom plate like a two by four mm -hmm. and you nail a small logs you know to that yeah and then you you know you cut them all the same height and then put a two before row around the top to hold them in place. Okay. And you just, you know, put them in tight as you can, one, you know, towards the other. How big do you think this root cellar should be? Something you walk in or something you just no, reach in? I think something you reach yeah. in. Like four by, four by two? Yeah. I, I got the idea because I watched that, that uh, Alaskan show on yeah. the Discovery Channel. And they were making a root cellar because they got permafrost up there. Yeah. And so this guy stayed up there year round in Ooh, the I wonder, cabin. Yeah, I wonder how that'd be for us. And uh, the permafrost kept, you know, he put a thermometer in there. It was like 39 degrees huh. in the, you know, in the warm weather. So hmm. it worked good. Well, we don't have permafrost, but I bet you it would be pretty darn good. Mm-hmm. Even in the summer. It would keep it cool, you know, yeah. if you covered it with dirt. Our goal for it is to, so we can leave cans of soup or whatever. Right. And not have it freeze is our goal. Yeah. Haul it back and forth all the time. Yeah, we've hauled too much stuff back and forth. Woody, Woody and I thought doing something like that at Greg's camp. Yeah. And then we thought, well, why don't we put it in a watertight you know, metal box yes. and sink it in the pond. Mm-hmm. Because it wouldn't freeze there. Yep. But it would be a real pain to get get yeah. stuff. So we well, scrapped that idea. It looks like we're finally stocked up decent on brown bread. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got a decent Four, amount. Four, five, six, seven, eight cans of brown bread. You can see we struck out a couple times at Hannaford. So when we did find it in Ashland at the IGA or Food Sure or whatever the Sure Find or Sure Find, sure we we kind of went hog wild on it. Right, you're gonna people have never heard about it. Yeah, you probably see us cooking some of it. Mm. I mean, it's all cooked, but what we do is we butter it up and. Slice oh, it off in slices, so so then put good. it in a fry pan. It so is good. delicious. Yeah, if we didn't have an amazing dinner dessert set up for us tonight, we would. I would eat it for dessert. Yeah. I mean, I've eaten it for breakfast, for dessert, for a filler, you know, on a meal. But it's really good. You want some more of that on there? But we got one heck of a dessert coming tonight. So, mm. oh so boy, stay tuned for this. You won't believe it. <laughs> it's, yeah. I think it's been on past videos, I think. It has, twice, I think. But, yeah. But only really once where we showed it. Right. But it, it gave it it's justice. a big hit. And uh, I didn't make it, obviously. <laughs> but my daughter did. And uh, it's got rave reviews. Everybody that's had it can't get enough of it. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah, stay tuned. If we don't fill up too much on this rice, 
All right. I'm going to fill up on some more of this rice. This is good. Yeah. I this think is it, a heck that makes meal. a good meal. It's an awesome Yeah, meal. with peppers and, and onion. I think the peppers really make it. Uh huh. That's an awesome meal. And chicken. Just sliced mm. chicken in it. Yep. It's nice in here, though. Nice temperature. Is, yeah, it's comfortable. Yep. Of course, I got quite a few clothes on, but still mm. comfortable. Mm hmm. What time did we get here, anyway? Jeez, I don't remember. I can tell you, I can tell you. We left, I think it was 1.12 when we left the parking lot. And it was a half, there was 35 minute snowmobile ride. So 1.46, was it 1.46 or 2.46? 1.46, I think. Hmm. Yeah. So we immediately started a fire. Mm -hmm. Let's attempt now. Right here, 63. Oh, nice. 10 degrees outside. So it's taken since two or say two o'clock to 6:15 now or so. Yeah. 6:30. Yeah. But it's dropping pretty hard out there. Yeah. We might not get as warm as they were saying. Up here, yeah. right. I mean, it's really got warm up quick. Yeah. I can't believe it's going to be 50 tomorrow if it's dropping. No, it's not going to be 50. <laughs> that 49. might be Portland, Maine or something, but it's hard to get a weather forecast up here yeah. on because everything's down based in Portland, Maine. Yeah. But I listen to channel WBZ in, in Bangor. Yeah. To get the weather, they, they're they more accurate with weather up in Bangor and above than than uh, Portland Station. I put in for Portage Lake. Yeah. And uh, they, you think it, but, you know, they might be just guessing at Portage Lake from Bangor. Right. That's good, thank you. This is some good. Yeah, we always have a saying, you know, when we're eating some food, but I can't say it on the no. video, but... I'd edit it out. Yeah, you'd have to edit it. Yeah, well, the but if somebody doesn't like the cooking, then if they complain about the cooking, then they have to do the cooking. Yeah. So no matter what we say, we always say it's good at the end. Right, yeah. But good. But good. Tastes like, but it's good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you fill in the blanks out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the folks at home wanted to know how your East Grand trip went. Oh, when I went up with Randy. Mm -hmm. It was... A great day. We sat out on the ice. We didn't take any snow machine. We walked out yeah. on uh, East Grand the second day we were there. We went to a different, you know, lake, Deering Lake. Or it's huh. called either Deering or Longfellow. Okay. There's two, two, two names to this lake, I guess, depending on <laughs> who you were or what. But. We didn't do anything there. Never even got a flag. Ugh. The second second day, but it was a nice day to sit out. Second day, we had to walk out about a half a mile on East Grand on yeah down by Rideout's camps, so yeah. which are way down from uh, Green, Greenland Cove, mm -hmm. and sat out there. Got shelter. It was a little windy that day. Got shelter around a point. Shut out. Probably 35 feet of water was the deepest. Never got a flag there all all day. I'd have probably called Jack Traps and complained. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a problem. Yeah, 
Yeah. I, I did call him once and tell him that. <laughs> Sean was next to me and Casey answered. And she was so flabbergasted. I he kept didn't know him. what to say. Yeah, I, told, I said, I don't know what happened. <laughs> the guy in the store told me, you just throw a minnow on, you set the reel. Yeah, guaranteed to Set the flag and the, uh, the flag goes up and you catch a fish. I told her, I said, I've set the minnow, I've set the flag, and something's broken because they will not go up so I can catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> About 10 minutes in, she finally said, well, but maybe you're not getting a bite. <laughs> 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 no, so they didn't say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sean was that standing was right. So funny. Yeah, Sean standing right there next to me, our boss. Oh my word. Yeah, that was funny. It was so funny. Oh my gosh. Ah. Yeah, I felt bad for her. Oh man. But with the the customer complaints nowadays, with she's got to take them all serious. Oh yeah, there's an idiot born every well, second. She, she didn't recognize who it was. She didn't know me at the time. No. Oh, did you let on at the end? Oh, uh, Sean did. Yeah. Yeah, at the end, when I when I just had her completely flabbergasted, Sean said, "This is your boss. You passed your customer service test." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I tried to get her again, but she won't go for it. Huh. But while we were while we were fishing East Grand, there was another a guy and his son were fishing a ways from us. Mm hmm And uh, so he picked up, well, I guess we picked up around 2 o'clock. We got tired of sitting there. He came over and uh, he had this old, old snowmobile that his grandfather, I guess, had. And he said he watched your channel. That's crazy. And uh, I forgot, you know, I can't remember names at all, but he was a Genthner, I huh. believe. And he thought his father coached you at some point. Could you know, have, yeah. In baseball. Yeah. But uh, he, his, his uh, son, who was probably 10 years old, I'm guessing, you know, he asked his son, do you know who that guy is? And he said, oh, that's Donnie. Jeez, he recognized uh, me. He how said, the heck did they know you were out there? I know. He, he, you know, he didn't until he got close enough to see who who was there. Jeez. But it's amazing how many people just, you run into that just recognize you. Yeah. But he goes to your ice cream shop. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, all oh. the time. And huh. he's. He's hoping to catch you there sometime. He wants to talk with you. I'll try to be there more this year. Yeah. Last year I was at the mill or at the golf course. Right. Well, it sounds like we're going to be at the mill a little bit this year. I think year. we're going to be at the mill a lot this year. Suppose we could move the shack, ice cream shack over in the woods? Yeah, to the mill? Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Probably better off just moving the mill down to the shop. That would be a lot easier. Yeah. 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 So that was that was interesting. He was up there. That was school vacation week. Oh, okay. Well, he was up there for a few days. Did he just like fishing there? Or did he have family up there? Or did he say? He didn't really say, but it, I think I take it that he's been obviously on East Grand before. Yeah. But he said there was a slug of people. We were fishing there, you know, not on a weekend, but he said the weekend there yeah. was a slug of people fishing in that area that we were in. Yeah. Nobody was doing anything. Were you near the deep hole? No, no. no quite a ways from. Oh wow! But yeah, that was I mean, popular. you know, I was kind of hoping to hook into a trout or a salmon. You know, I wasn't yeah. going for togue. Yeah. But no luck, and he said. Huh. It was, he said. He said he didn't see much action when all those other people were there. Huh. I don't know. High barometer has. Uh, oh yeah, on, wicked bad. Yeah, plays then, on that. And you said they get an L wife die off when the huh? L wives die off. Yeah, I think the fish really key in on them, especially the toad. But I wouldn't be surprised if everything doesn't key in on them. 
Yeah. When you get like a half million fish this big die and sink to the bottom. Right, yeah. I, it, I think it's kind of tough to catch one at that point. Yeah. Like yeah. Dammer Scotta always gets, it's the best bass fishing lake in the state till May 30th. Uh, and then the owl lives run. Yeah. And then, geez, you'd be lucky to catch a bass for a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. Huh. They're just so keyed in on them. Yeah. Yeah, you see schools of elbows all around the <laughs> yeah. shore, you know, yeah. black with them. Yeah, and then you hear a big splash and see a big old bass chewing on them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why they call the sport fishing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never know. That's the truth. But with all this gadgetry they have now of trying to locate fish. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. But most people don't have all that gadgetry. And yeah. But it was good to see, you know, kids out there fishing. You know? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, you don't see enough kids out there. Yeah. I bet you it's some warm up in that loft right now. I bet it is. But I'm not going up and I'm checking. not either. <laughs> I bet. I wonder if it, like, how stable it the temperature stays up there. You know, you like it all Probably night. Probably still stay more stable than down here. Yeah, I bet you. I because bet you. You does. get the cold, cold from the floor here. Yeah. I bet you it stays warm there. Like if we let that burn out tonight, yeah. I bet you up there would still be good. Yeah. Yeah. But you're gonna either roast or it'd be hot getting <laughs> up there. there. Yeah. 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 Boy, that meal was good. I don't, I, know. I don't usually brag about my cooking, but <laughs> man, I got to brag about that. That's really good. I've had two helpings. Mm. I'm stuffed. Yeah, and I'm still eyeballing it. So this, this is the stuff I mix with it: sweet and sour lechoy, and uh, I mean it's so simple. You know, you yeah. kind of, kind of soften up all the peppers and onions and. And uh, I think we could finish that. Yeah, take eat it. You, you could you could hammer some more. I'll finish oh. the pan. Yeah. yeah, I hope I don't have to go to the outhouse tonight. <laughs> I hate going down through that snow. And Just go, go to the new one. Well, there's nothing in it. You that's know, all right. I'll have to cut a hole in the floor. I'll give you a trash bag and a bucket. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I haven't done that in the Eskimo before. Go uh. to forty below zero. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want any leftovers at this, is at pretty this good. place. This is a good pan. That is. That was left here. Yeah. That right, is a good pan. Yeah. But you can't beat this cast iron. But the real Canuck sent us that all the way from Canada. Yeah. General Steel Ware. Ware, Canada. Huh. I wonder where, where, where it was located. Uh, you know where he was from? Well, he's from Winnipeg area. Oh, Winnipeg. I think, but I've heard that they made them at a couple different places, but I'm just going to go with Manitoba. You just about licked that clean. There ain't a grain of rice in there for the no, money, sir. I'll tell you that. Wow. Wow, that's great. Mice are going to go hungry tonight. Yep. Bastards. Yeah, we only caught one mouse. Yeah. Last time we caught, I think, three. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, they're getting in here. Yeah. I mean, they can get in the smallest places. Jeez. I'll reset that trap for tonight and rebait the other ones. Yeah. They got the bait off the other ones without them going off. Can, can you imagine licking that peanut butter no. off that trigger? No, I can't. And not have it go off? So lucky. Boy. I wouldn't want to try it. No. Nope. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> I remember the time you sat, sat one with a piece of cheese. Yeah. I think it was you. And somebody came by and you said, you had it all set. You said, you want a piece of cheese? Yeah, I think it was to Sean. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. He didn't funny. take you up on it. No. Well, I definitely shouldn't have kept eating that because I am, like, not done time. Well, you're going to have a piece of cake? I'm going to have to work hard for it. I mean, we we ought to. We ought to try a yeah. little. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. A I, little piece. I gotta take a little break first, though, Donnie. I'm getting the food sweat. Oh, okay. I might have to. Chase Trouble her. is, if I wait too long, I'm I gonna know. Sleep. <laughs> I might have to chase her down with a little bit of hot tea. Mm. Mm. That was some good. Oh, you want me to put the tea kettle on? Uh, yeah. If, if it's yeah. still it's still hot. Well, no, like there was no water in it. Before I just hung it up. Oh there. yeah, yeah. Well, I'll put the water in it. Put it on the stove. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to go get Stevie tomorrow. We can introduce Stevie to the YouTube world. Yeah, I mean it's been a while since he's been here. Yeah. And uh, I. You know, as you said, I don't think he's seen this rematch. I don't believe so. Just that one wall. Yeah. I want to say the last he'd seen this place, it had uh, insulation was going up in the ceiling. Oh, okay. Because him and Sean were poking it, poking it into the ceiling. Yeah. And I think that was the last of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was not a good idea, eating all that food. Wow. Well. It was so damn good. The next time I'll cook something that isn't so good. Yeah, try cooking something bad again. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, stuff like that's pretty addictive. Oh, so friggin' good. So what are you gonna bring next time? Here You're us. gonna look at this bed of coals we got. Oh, wow. If that doesn't burn all night, I don't know what will. Look at that bed of coals. That's awesome. That's nice. That's all hardwood. Yeah. What do you think? Before we go to bed, close her down and throw in I would a say, handful? Yeah. Even this is starting to thaw. <laughs>